you. Holy shit. I'm a Scorpio, so I'm biased. Most of these days, we get a lot of unjust hate. I have seen so many tarot card readers that I'm just like, Ugh. Woo! Yeah. So, little Scorpio therapy. When you can see through people's bullshit. <clears throat> They intuitively know that. They pick up on that energetically. Um, and they, most people don't like it. Um, they just, they can't uh, conceive of the fact that, you know, someone might be able to see them and still join, 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 care for them and be kind to them. Treat them with respect and love and compassion while seeing, seeing the whole of them. A lot of people have a difficult time with that. And uh, most, most Scorpios that I have met, encountered, and become dear friends with, um, I just need to try to help out. We see things for what they are. And it's a tough ride, but man, oh man. Some of the stuff we get to see and experience is kind of freaking worth it. Right? Kind of freaking worth it. Because in the end, you know, whatever's rejecting you, it's protection. I always say that protection. Rejection is protection. Okay. We're not really moving? Not shaking through this eclipse? I I personally am, but like <laughs> what's going on in Scorpio Nation? You had a standstill. Oh, this is oh snap, where did I put it? This is 13 tarot by <laughs> by Necro. How sweet Necro <laughs> means Dead, by the way. <laughs> Death. <laughs> okay. Ooh, scary, right? It's not scary. It's not. We just don't know what you're looking at. Okay. So we got that going. Scorpio. Hanging on. Waiting for that spark to come through. Waiting for somebody to touch our hearts. I wish I had a better camera on this. Oh my god. Side story. Bought a laptop. Nice old camera on it. I can't download YouTube on. Like, oh. not on this device. B. Hmm. I was like, okay. Guess this is gonna be used for other things, darling. I do like to write, so. That'll be oh, pretty sure that's gonna have to be an anonymous vlog. So anyway, Lily Lou, Lily Lily, that's Lily Lilith. Anything else for Scorpio other than Lily whining and crying? Ooh. Upright. Sorry. There's okay. So this comes in four different languages. So I'm like, where's the English version? And was it upright or not? Okay. So this is the high priestess. You're keeping some secrets, are we? Keeping things a little on the low key. I love how this has musical instruments all over in it. It's like uh, guitars and cellos and harps and whatnot. So, we're not moving from our throne. That's Scorpio, though, dude. Nope. You're going to come to me, darling. I get it. That's Scorpio. I get 
at it. Anything else Scorpio wants to tell us? <laughs> what the universe wants to let Scorpio know about uh, <laughs> what Scorpio probably already freaking know? Not telling themselves? Okay. Feisty nuggets. We got some feisty nuggets to throw around. So you're arguing with yourself over not moving forward. Um, are you afraid to move forward? Well, what's going on, Scorp Scope? I don't think it is like the traditional Scorpio card. This is the Scorpio card. I don't give an F who you think you are, how much you think you know about this is Scorpio card. We're going to sit underneath our tree and reject your big, huge flaming cup of emotional bullshit all day long. Okay. And three of wands. We know which direction we want to go in. And we're rejecting the fourth cup because it's, we think it's bullshit, but it's not bullshit, obviously. So three of wands, we want to move past this four of cups. But we're going to take the cup. We want to cut the cup, but we're going to take the cup so we can move forward. Okay. I'm going to take the cup. Stop arguing about it and just dun dun dun. Accept the emotion for what it is. Or the emotion that's being given to us for what it is. We're going to just uh, move in a different direction. We're not even moving towards emotion. We're moving towards our desire. Not bad, Cole. All right. Anything else Scorpio needs to know from this deck? Yeah, we found our desire that was missing. So in this card, it's hard to see. There it is. Like, she's... <laughs> oh my scorpios are totally gonna understand that not a big gig okay still didn't help plastic freaking frocking what if i do this right away no okay so in that little flame right there is a hand that's reaching out to an actual human heart not a you know cute little fuzzy heart so we're waiting for our heart to be touched. And we finally got that right here. And we're moving. Where are we going? Okay, so this is the, um, oh, this is the herbal, herb craft, herb crafters tarot. I was a gardener. I am still, I'm a gardener. I was a gardener, always a gardener. <laughs> Persephone, by the way, that's scorpionic, uh, archetype. Um, so this whole flowing with the season things definitely good with me. Um, so I know, I know a little bit, I know a little bit. I'm like that freaking, <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius writer. So like the finger and all the pies, you know, a little bit of, um, how they put that, um, 
Jack of all, master of none. That's me. Oh, jeez. Not half the deck, kids. All right. When I'm saying kids, I'm talking about my digits. <laughs> not you guys. <laughs> okay. So, we have the Ten of Earth. That's what we're moving towards. Horse tail. Um... I'm not sure what the restrictions on YouTube. I've seen other people on YouTube say what horsetail is good for. <clears throat> and all the associated things that go with it. Um, but um, until I... <laughs> I'm not giving any medical advice on this. Um, I am not a doctor. I'm, I'm learning, but I'm not, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use that for that purpose anyway. Uh, I think it's just going to be for pur personal purposes, but I encourage you to, you know, venture out if you feel the call. If you don't, don't, don't do it. If you do not feel that call, you don't got to do it, you know? why we have clinics <laughs> some people don't have the time or energy or the resources and that's freaking cool man everybody's got different priorities everybody has different needs freaking rock it out however you need to okay what else does Scorpio need to know about where they're moving and shaking to other than that's the thing about horsetail you too. Like if you see it out in the wild, it's really pretty. It's, it's a really cool plant. It's got all these little fibers in it. Freaking, and then at the top, it just it almost looks like fennel. Not that you would know if I was or dill. Dill. That's more common. It look it's really feathery like that at the top, but uh, at the base, it's almost it almost looks like it's like baby bamboo. It's kind of it's kind of like notched together. It's really unique looking plant. Grows um in like moist places, kind of by the water. That stuff I can tell you. Ha ha! Might me YouTube. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I love moon flower. Detra. Um, I usually grow this every year. The um. And it all, they call it the moonflower because it only blooms at night uh, and it blooms once and, and then it's done. Um, one of the most glorious smells that there is on the planet. Just, oh man, it's stunning. It's a vine. Um, I start it from seed. I grow it up one of my, my pillars in the backyard, although that's probably going to have to change next year because my grapevines are starting to kick in and heave ho and take over and then we've got the six of water six of cups moving into emotional waters and remembering things that are lost in the subconscious things that are lost do you not eat moonflower? It's a big no no. Okay, next. <laughs> Just, not all herbs. So, um, happy little tidbit. 10% uh, of all plant life is fit for human consumption. So, know your stuff before you start. <laughs> before you start nibbling away. Um, borage, borage you can nibble away on a little bit. Um, so six of cups. That's sweetness. That's actually so Scorpio's split up each uh, there's like a time period of on your birth um, and there's a specific card for you in the tarot based on when your birthday is not just like so Scorpio's got three cards Libra has three cards Aquarius has three cards Leo has three cards 
out of the uh, different cards out of the tarot based on three separations of their, you know, usually it's like the 20th or the 21st through the whatever, right? So this is actually a Scorpio card. This is my Scorpio card, Sweet Nostalgia. So you're, you're looking back on the past. In your subconscious and trying to connect dots. And make something of it. You're weaving, you're weaving a web here. And you're trying to make something with it. With the sweet nostalgia thing. So you're, you're looking back on all the things that you've been through in your life. And trying to make a pattern. And connect the dots. So I think I warned you in my first couple of videos. I do not read tarot <laughs> in an always traditional manner. I get the gist of it, I guess you could say. But um, sometimes it just intuitively takes me in a different direction and I follow it. So <laughs> I know you're not going to be very popular. That's all right. I'm not for everyone. Thank God, because I couldn't handle it. Freaking 12 house. 12 house is like isolation. Like, if I had a group of people here right now, I'd be sitting in the back of the room listening to somebody else. <laughs> I mean, I can, I'll like ask questions, I guess, but like, yeah. I'm not so great in large groups of people. One on one, I'm pretty good, but large groups of people. Not for me. Seven of Earth. You're going to help it grow. Whatever this is that you're trying to like weave into a web from your past, like all your past circumstances, you're collecting. And uh, there's your little basket full of acorns. Heck yeah, Scorpio. Get it? Get it. Get it. Oak tree is one of the most strongest trees there is out there. So whatever it is, freaking awesome, man. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to close it off with a, a star dragoon. Dude. I love this deck. I freaking love this deck. Um. I think the deck loves me too. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Three is the magic number. Knowledge. Not for a Scorpio. Never. Knowledge? Psh. Okay. Look at the knocking on this lovely little creature. Space. Darling, could you come back in three months? I'm having a download. <laughs> and, um, challenge. Standing up for your rights. What's that nostalgia thing bringing you over here? You got a strong tree. That's for ding all dang all sure. You stand your ground. Keep your roots. Heck yeah, man. All right, I'm going to read it just in case there's something, a little extra something, something. Because these are. Each dragoon has a very important message. Okay, so. That is not the one I wanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. There it is. So there's like ones and then there's like the numeric 
Like the V's, the I's, and the X's. Okay. So, knowledge. Constellation is Aquarius. Heck yeah. So, that's like the primordial waters of wisdom, which makes sense. Uh, water bearer. The star is Beta Aquarii. Wisdom of the Herald says, Build your skills and abilities. Learn more than ever before. Wisdom of the Dragon. Knowledge is the key to set your mind free. Seek and you will find me. I am in every corner, in every situation, in every trial and test. We be ghetto. He will. So that, never mind. Okay. So, and in every test, live and learn from me and listen closely. Invocation, the general of knowledge calls you to arms to build up your ability, skill, and endurance for retaining information. Learn all you can and be all you can. Knowledge is power. And guess what, Scorpios? We are all about that power. Now, might be another reason why people don't like us. But people tend to misconceive what power actually is versus uh, what we like to think of it as of today. Power is a storm. Power is a, a wealth of knowledge that can't always be taught in a classroom or from a book. Or even from experience, you kind of got to connect. The, it's all about connecting the dots. That's the wisdom of it. You can have all the books in the whole entire world and have all the time to read them. But it's not going to give you a lot of wisdom if you're not willing to sit down, go in the subconscious, and connect all the dots to see where it all leads. So, heck yeah, Scorpio. Definitely Scorpio reading, that's for sure. Holy bejesus. All right. I hope that uh, gave you some clarity for however long it's going to be till I see you again. Hopefully not too long. Okay. Love you, Scorp Nation.